Hey everybody, this is Fran Frischella, draft expert and basketball junkie. To everybody who's watching, let's get our friends at General Manager Games the subscribers they deserve. Just press that red subscriber button and immerse yourself in sports AI through GM Games content. And on Twitter, it's GM underscore games. Let's get after it. Let's go. Hey, everyone, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play here on GM Games. My name is Aaron, host of the Around the World Sports YouTube channel, and we are going to be doing a series with uh, Draft Day Sports Pro Football 2022, and we will be taking over the J-E-T-S Jets, Jets, Jets. That's right. We will be taking over the New York Jets and trying to rebuild and finally win something for this moribund franchise. Uh, I will tell you right off the bat that I don't have a ton of experience with this game. So um, I'm going to be kind of learning as I go here. If you guys have any tips or suggestions for me, please let me know if I'm doing something wrong or not taking advantage of a mechanic or something like that. Um, let me know. Let me know because... I, you know, I, I love the Wolverine studio people. I've, I've, I've been more a, a basketball guy, which, which those of you who have paid attention to, to my YouTube channel know I uh, had some college basketball, some pro basketball. Uh, never really got into the football side of things, but I'm excited to take a look at uh, Pro Football 22, uh, knowing that they made some changes to the financial engine and some other stuff. So. Uh, so I think this first episode is going to just sort of be a let's take a look at the team. Let's get through um, preseason and, you know, maybe we'll play that first game and we'll, we'll take a look at the game engine and, and see what that looks like. So we'll start with the Jets. We'll start. Are we on our dashboard? No, we're going to go to our dashboard. So here is our dashboard. You can see we've got our team leaders, which right now is just alphabetical. And all these mods, by the way, are downloadable. Um, I don't have any of the rookie photo packs yet I, I haven't seen a mod for that yet so um all of the rookies are gonna have pre-generated uh, images but anybody who's not a rookie will be on there you've got transactions you've got key stats you've got the schedule and you've got our upcoming draft picks you can see our salary what our our, our cap space is uh so on and so forth so our staff uh joe namath that's me uh, and you can see, um, I'll show you what I did here. So, um, it doesn't show. Okay. So you've got all of his ratings here. So basically what I did is I had a random number generator pick. Uh, uh, I roll 12 numbers between one and 10, and then I just plugged those in where I wanted. So I wanted somebody who was really good at scouting, um, because I figure that's how we're going to improve our team. Uh, and then you can see down to, I think, the lowest I had. I rolled 1-1, one, one, and I put that into loyalty. But uh, you can see I, I'm, I was more focused on scouting and the ability to assess the ability and potential of uh, prospective players. So uh, so that's me. Ronald Azell is our head coach. Joe Wolf is our offensive coordinator. And James Loveless is our D coordinator. Uh, power hybrid offense, vertical, or excuse me, a 3-3-5 hybrid defense. Uh, we'll take a look and see what um, what sort of uh, options we have there. I know we can change most of that. So we've got this. There's nothing here because we haven't played any games yet. Um, let's look at the roster, I guess. <clears throat> so we're going to be building around Zach Wilson. And you can see no picture for Zach because he's a rookie. Um, we will be building around Zach, 77 overall, 86 arm, 81 accuracy, a little bit of speed, some good endurance. You can see his personality. Um, kind of a sporty kind of guy, not a great leader. That's something we'll have to work on, his leaders, leadership and his team playerness, if that's a word. Uh, money's important to him, playing time is important to him, that's not a problem. Uh, one of the cool things we can do is we can mentor other players, so maybe we try to find somebody to mentor um, Zach Wilson, doesn't look like we have a lot of options. We got Tevin Coleman, who I'll probably use to mentor Michael Carter, who is another rookie who will be our starting running back. Um, CJ Mosley at linebacker. Maybe we can use him to mentor. Yeah, we don't have a lot of options in terms of mentors, but 
Mike White, James Morgan are our other two quarterbacks. Michael Carter will likely be our starting running back, 86 overall, 85 agility. I mean, he's a burner, um, not super um, strong. So, you know, maybe we run with a combination of him and, yeah, Coleman's not much stronger either. Um, Josh Adams is a relatively strong running back. So we don't have a ton of kind of bruisers. We got Ty Johnson and LaMichael Perrine, Perrine uh, out there as well. Um, we've got, I, I think we're going to, we're going to try to treat, we're going to try to be, we're going to try to be a, a, a run focused team, obviously, to take the pressure off of, off of the rookie Wilson. Our offensive line isn't bad. You can see we've got Mekhi Becton. Uh, one tackle. We've got three guards that are rated 80 or over, including a young a Vera Tucker, who I believe is a rookie. Yeah, he's a rookie. Um, our other tackle position is Morgan Moses. We got a couple of our 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 offensive line's pretty good. Between um, Feeney, Moses, Becton, Tucker, and Lewis, we have a pretty solid offensive line. So we'll take advantage of that, and we will run. We will run heavy, run heavy. Uh, tight ends, we are really, really weak at tight end. Chris, Chris Herndon is our, our best tight end at a 70 overall, so that's going to be a problem. Wide receiver, we're really bad. We did sign Corey Davis. So we got Davis and Crowder. It's kind of our two outside threats, but beyond that, and we have a Elijah Moore who is kind of the young, uh, the young, uh, you know, He'll be our, our kind of our, right now our third wide receiver, I think. So yeah, I, we're gonna be a run heavy team, I think. Um, defensive backfield uh, does not look particularly good, although we have a ton of cornerbacks. None of them are all that good. Bryce Hall is our number one. Uh, Michael Carter would be our number two, but they're young. I mean, 22, 23, 23, 23, 22. Uh, linebackers uh, led by C.J. Mosley in the middle. Um, do we want to run a three, four or they want to run a three, three, five. So you're going to run with five average cornerbacks, three linebackers. So it's going to be who it'll be Mosley, <clears throat> excuse me, Mosley Davis and Cashman, I guess. And then up front, Sheldon Rankins will be our, our top D tackle, uh, with Quinn and Williams. Carl Lawson. So we have three solid D linemen in Lawson, Quinnen Williams, and Sheldon Rankins in the middle. So it might make more sense to go a three four. No, because we only yeah, we really only have three good linebackers. So a three three five is probably the way to go with this team. Uh, and then free safeties, Marcus May is our big guy back there, but he's making a ton of money. So we may look to trade him. Um, in uh, during the regular season, so that's that's an overview of the roster. Quick overview. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we're going to lean heavily on on uh, Carter and Coleman uh, in the backfield. Um, you know, with maybe it'll be kind of a a running game and long pass type of offense. So uh, try to break down the 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 defense with runs from Carter and Coleman and then try to go over the top to, uh, to Elijah Moore and, and Corey Davis and that sort of thing. Cause they do have, I mean, neither of them are blazing fast, but Corey Davis has got great hands. So I think that might be the type of offense we try to run sort of a ground and pound with a, you know, bust them over the top kind of thing. Uh, contracts, you know, and we'll see how the game works uh, with contracts. It's that's always been a problem. They haven't they haven't always had the 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 most accurate or realistic uh, uh, contractual setup. Um, but you can see we got a you know a couple of fairly expensive contracts in here. Um, wow, well, we have two centers who are eighty eight or higher. So I don't know what we're gonna do there, but. Um, Mosley signed long term. Lawson signed for a few years. Marcus May, like I said, we'll probably try to move on from. Um, we might move on from Feeney as well, since we've got Quinn and McGovern locked up. Um, George Fant is making a lot of money, and he's not particularly good. Yes, yeah, so we got a lot of bad money thrown around here, which is always a problem with the Jets, right? They spend money in terrible ways. So. Um, 
I don't think there's anybody necessarily that I want to bring back right this second. That's something we'll take a look at as the year goes on. You've got the depth charts. And if we go to, we want to go to the offensive coordinator because uh, that's, I think, whose offense we're going to try to run. So it wants Tevin Coleman as our, no, Michael Carter will be our starting runner back. Tevin Coleman will be our backup. And Perrine will be the number three. We got Davis, Moore, and Crowder as our top three wide receivers. That's fine. Uh, I want Herndon as my starting tight end. And uh, Griffin as my backup. Becton, Tucker, McGovern, Lewis, and Moses. Yeah, we got Feeney in here at an 88. He's got to be able to bring some value for us. So we have the ability to change this throughout the game. So like, I can come in here and I can set like an offensive package that might be uh, that might be called third down. And we'll set it. And then we can come in and we can look at, like if we look at our running backs, which running back has the best hands? Coleman and Carter are basically the same. Um, strength, the Michael Perrine. So, so maybe if we do like a goal line. And update, and we make Perrine our goal line, our number one goal line back. Although that's changeable. I take that back. That's changeable over here in, um, I think it's in sh under strategy. So let's go to, let's cancel that. Let's go back to the offensive package. So we got Carter and Coleman. Davis Moore are our two wide receivers, and we will make sure that's saved. It is. Um... If we look at the defense, that's special teams. If we look at the defense, go to James Loveless and set. So Quinn and Williams, Sheldon Rankins, Carl Lawson, and no. Hmm. Oh, okay. So that's if we're running. Okay. So if we have two D tackles, it's going to be Williams and Rankins. Um, yeah. So I think that's fine. Although... If we do a 3-3-4, three, three, I still want it to be Williams, Rankins, and although I wish you could look at this, like you view this and it shows you, all right, so in this you've got, yeah, see, this is what I don't want. So I don't want Zuniga starting on the left, the left side in a 3-3-5. Three, three, So, how do I change that? Do I do... Yeah, it should be Rankins. Do I do this? Do I put him here? Like if I do that, and then look at a 335. Yeah, it still doesn't... Uh... Still doesn't change it. All right, well, that's something I'll have to take a look at because I don't want... I, if I'm running a 3-3-5, three, three, I want it to be Williams, Rankins, and Lawson. Linebacker, we have C.J. Mosley. Uh, Marcus May listed as our, our number two uh, linebacker. Yeah, our linebacker core is not great, but we're going to go... I guess it's got to be Hawkins. And we're really only going to do a... Th I, I, we're not going to run a four-linebacker set very often because we just don't have four good linebackers. Um, that's fine with our cornerbacks. Save that. Strategy. And again, guys, if, if, I, if there's something else I should do, if I should go more into this, let me know, please. Uh, so here you can see the run pass weight. The higher the number is more passing. I want to be a run-heavy team. So we're going to drop that to... 40, yeah, you can see we are a a, uh, a, a pretty run-heavy team. So we're going to go down here like this. Um, yeah, I think we can blitz. Goal line, we want to run. Yep. Um, if we go to game planning, you can see here backfield by committee. Yes, our third down back is... Tevin Coleman, our goal line back. So I want to change this and make our goal line back. Uh, where is he? Make our goal line back. LaMichael Perrine. 
running focus outside is fine because both of our running backs have got speed, running back roll, running, tight end roll, blocking, QB tuck and run. I'm going to leave it on default. Primary receiver, Corey Davis, passing target outside. Passing preference, we're going to go medium, and we are going to focus heavy on the run. Uh, Jets season one, and we'll see how that works. Uh, defensive game plan, focus on the run, primary cover. Yeah, I'm okay with changing all this. So that's kind of what we'll do with our, our game plan. Uh, formations. know what all this is weight what does weight mean I'm not sure what this means offense I formation run two tight ends goal line offense default oh 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 got it okay these are the different offensive uh uh under the depth chart, these are the different packages. So we're just telling it to use the default offense. So under the goal line, so if we are on, so we're telling it what to do in particular situations. So if we're running the spread, I want, you know, if I set this on offensive package three, it would change my depth chart to offensive package three. That makes sense. Play analysis, there's nothing there yet. And then we can set plays, which I have no interest in doing right now. Uh, training. Training. I don't know, does training work yet? Yeah, so training, you can set. Uh, you can see here, um, training help. The coach focus selects a player. Uh, position drills, uh, so QBs and linebackers do not have the same use for skills. You can put them on the same schedule and make sure they train the relevant skills. Uh, athletic focuses on speed and agility. Physical focuses on strength and stamina. Game tape helps them develop their intelligence. The combined total you can assign as 24 points. If you sign too little, your players may regress. If you get to 25 in total, you run the risk of injuries. And depending on their personal uh, personalities, players may start to complain and lose morale. As you will see on the default schedule, the AI running with a total of 22 points, which will largely, which will largely affect. What did that say? Sorry. We'll largely avoid negative effects. So if we look at Zach Wilson, it shows you his personality under bio. He's a selfish trailblazer. So um, if we look at his profile, his intelligence, I mean, he's pretty smart. But what I want to do is get rid of some of the positional plays and put more into game tape. So I think we'll do that and change this to QB. So I actually need to go back to default schedule and change this back. And we will set, so if we go to QB and bump this up to eight, bump this down to three, we will put all of our QBs on the QB schedule. And then I'm fine with the rest staying as default. That might be something that we tweak down the road, but I'm okay with that. It's just with my QBs, I want them to get a little bit more intelligent. You know, work on that intelligence that they make better throws and better decisions. Um, we have the team info, which I think just shows stats and stuff. Yeah, it shows logos and all that stuff. The schedule is our schedule. So we got the Steelers, the Chargers, the Patriots, and the Broncos in the preseason. <coughs> um, we'll advance through free. Uh, the free agency process at the beginning of the game is really bad. Uh, I've noticed it has literally no good free agents here at all. There, and this is one of the things that they don't do. Um, um, these are the ones. Th these are the things that they don't do. Th that Draft Day Sports doesn't do particularly well. You can sign any free agent for five hundred thousand. Um, well, not right now because we're in f we're in the the free agency portion of the game. But once the season starts, you can sign any free agent for five hundred thousand, which is you know I, I don't know. Um, but we'll you know we'll just we'll do it. I won't just sign all because they're going to be free agents. They're going to be better than the players we have. And I don't want to just sign them because they're better and they're cheap. That seems kind of, I don't know, cheesy to me. So maybe I'll limit myself. So we're just going to go ahead and complete all free agent days. 
let the AI sign those. Uh, and we will advance through uh, training camp. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take just a quick break, and I'll come back, and then we'll do training camp. Hang tight. <clears throat> All right. We're back, and we're going to do training camp. We'll do training camp. We will sim through. So I think the plan is we'll do training camp. We will sim through the preseason. Um, we will set our roster because we got to get our roster down to 53 players. Um, we'll make sure that depth chart strategy is all set correctly, and then we will play game one. So I think that's probably the plan here. So let's go ahead and sim training camp. <clears throat> and let's see what we got. So hopefully none of the players on our team were... See, they don't list the team name here, which is a little... I'm not concerning, but they don't list the team name here, which I wish they did. You can come up here and search on team, so we'll do that. We'll go to the J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. So Jamison Crowder was our our best, uh, our, I guess our highest gain player. Tanzel Smart, a defensive tackle. Saquon, Saquon Hampton uh, at free safety. LaMichael Perrine got better, which is nice. Up to an 82 now. Tevin Coleman, Carl Lawson, which is a big one. Uh, where is Mr. Wilson? There is Zach Wilson, a three-point bump. Um, Greg Van Roten, a backup guard. He's, well, no, he's a starting guard. Dropped six. Ryan Griffin, not good. Morgan Moses dropped. He was one of our starters, too. So two of our offensive linemen got significantly worse, which isn't good. Vinny Curry, uh, he got a little worse, but he's just a backup. George Fant is not long for this team, I don't think. Not with that contract. But we'll probably put him on the trade block and see uh, um, what we can get for him. So, yeah. So there are our training camp results. Do we have any injuries? No injuries. Cap space. We have $16 million in cap space, which is good. Um, it looks like the AI signed a bunch of garbage players. We have uh, significant bandwagon fans, which is, you know, J-E-T-S. Uh, I don't think any of this is going to show up yet. Yeah, so we've got the top 100 players, so we don't need a quarterback. I mean, we could really use anything, you know, especially if we end up pretty poor. And we'll do some... Uh, can you actually look at these players? You can. All right. Race to know the value of teamwork. We'll push through blocks. College teammates point to how smart he is. Look at his bio. Cool. All right, so you can look at all this information ahead of time. Excellent. Uh, let's go back to magazines. Free agency preview. So these, these are the upcoming free agents. I don't know how um, active we're going to be in free agency. That's one of the issues that the Jets have had is they tend to be active in free agency, which uh, they don't always sign the best players, but there could be some, you know, some some talent in here that we could pick up. Uh, fantasy football, TJ, who's the highest rated quarterback in fantasy football? Patrick Mahomes, that's not a surprise. Season preview, there's nothing here yet. It just shows top offensive, top defensive players. I think that's just by rating because I don't think the Cardinals center is their best offensive player. But you can see what their positional ratings are. So if we come to the Jets, uh, we've got an A center, B tackle, and nothing else over C. So that's not good. Uh, that's not good. Um, all right. I think we are ready to yeah, we're just I'm gonna sim. We're not even gonna bother looking at box scores, I don't think, for the preseason. I just kinda wanna get through the box I just kinda wanna get through the off season. Or get through the preseason, I guess I should say. And we'll go back and we'll look at the the mail here in a second, because the mail gives us, you know, injury reports and uh, how players did and things like that. So um you can see some of the highlights from training camp. We have some players we need to sign, which we know. Uh, player performances. Marcus May had a good game. Braxton Berrios. Marcus May again. So Michael Perrine with a torn meniscus is doubtful. He's probable now. Okay. So most everybody is healthy or getting healthy. These guys are all probable. We've got the Panthers coming up. 
and we all the other oh yeah the other thing I wanted to do was set um, set mentors that was something I didn't do so Tevin Coleman we're gonna have him mentor Michael Carter so Michael Carter is uh, needs to work on his disposition and his leadership he's a reserved egoist so if he's an egoist that tells me that Tevin Coleman needs to take a validating approach with him we'll work on professionalism with Michael Carter. Um, Perrine is out. Tyler Croft. I, I don't really care that he... I don't really need him to... Many, many... Maybe Kenny Yaboa? Because he's... Let's look at Yaboa. Because he's going to be... He's a selfish egoist as well. So he's going to need to be uh, kind of handled with kid gloves. So validating again... Um, I guess we should look at his bio or his profile. And he's pretty well-rounded, decent leadership, uh, maybe being more of a team player so we can work on that with him. Work on being more of a team player. So validating uh, team play. And let's find our tight end, Mr. Iboa. And I don't know if this is the right way to do it, if there's a better strategy or not, but this just seems to make sense. You have somebody from the same position mentor him. Uh, Josh Malone, can I guess he can mentor Elijah Moore. So Elijah Moore is an ambitious jock. I don't know what that means, but we'll see if we can figure out the best way to do it. So amb he's ambitious, so we're going to encourage him. We're going to encourage him on position play. And we'll find Elijah Moore. And again, yeah, like I said, I don't know if this is the right way to do it, but I, it seems like it makes sense to me, just kind of thinking about it out loud. Uh, Mosley. Mosley, Rankins. Mosley and Rankins are it. So Rankins, I guess. Yes, Marshall, Jonathan Marshall. He's a pleasant baller. Good for him. All right, so the approach can be... Uh, he's pleasant, so we can be a little, a little tough love. God, I forgot his name. That's really bad. Uh, Jonathan Marshall, Jonathan Marshall, Jonathan Marshall leadership and being a team player okay so that works leadership and being a team player for jonathan marshall so we will uh tough love team play jonathan marshall is he on this list yep all right and then last but not least we look at not sheldon rankins we look at cj mosley who is he going to mentor none of our tight ends are any good blake cashman i guess so Cashman is an energetic egoist. <laughs> I love these. Uh, and we'll work on work ethic. So Blake Cashman. Let's find Blake Cashman on the list. Um, professionalism. And we will take a validating approach again because he's an egoist. And we'll see if that gives us any um, any any bumps to or or if these players develop at all with these mentors. So all right, so we have made it through spring training. Uh, can we look at spring training stats? Does that is that a thing? Season playoff player, yeah, it doesn't show. Yeah, it doesn't show the uh, preseason stats. All right, so now we have to set our roster. So we go to roster. And then we're going to go, first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at positional counts. You can see we've got a ton of positions that are over the maximum. So we need to make somebody a fullback first and foremost. So uh, take one of our running backs and make them a fullback. Make Josh Adams a fullback. We'll come up here and we'll change his ratings and whatnot. But that's fine. So we need a fullback. We know, yeah, he's a 46 overall fullback. Uh, so once we cut players, we should be able to look at free agency and see if we can find some players that'll work. 
So Ty Johnson, okay, I guess we'll go to roster management. So Ty Johnson is going to go on to the practice squad. Uh, positional counts, we're good there. So now we got to look at tight ends. We have six tight ends. We have a maximum of three. So Hennessy is going to get released. Uh, Yaboa is going to go on the practice squad. And I think we release Ryan Griffin and save some money. Yep. So that bumps our, our, uh, our cap up. Now we look at wide receivers. We have 10. We have a maximum of eight. So if we look at wide receivers... Uh, anybody we want to put on, anybody that we just want to get rid of. Yeah, Lawrence Kager we can release. Um, Josh Malone we can release. So that gives us eight. We, I, we, we want to put at least one or two, one of these players on the, um, we don't really need to. Vincent Smith and Jeff Smith are terrible. So we're just going to release them. All right. So positional count, we're good there. So center, we need to... We have four centers on our roster, huh? Um, Murray can be put on the practice squad. And I think ultimately we will trade. Um, yeah, ultimately we'll trade Feeney, I think. In fact, we can do it now. We can put him on the trade block. Uh, all right. So what does that do positionally? So we don't have a kicker. How do we not have a kicker? We'll look at free agents here in a minute. We'll pick up a kicker. So defensive tackles, we've got too many. How long is he out for? He's questionable. Vinny Curry can get released. Uh, Jonathan Marshall will put on the practice squad. Defensive Ends, we have one too many. Any defensive ends, we can just stick on the practice squad. 20, Franklin Myers, Bryce Huff can go on the practice squad, I guess. Um, cornerbacks, we have 10. We got to get down to six. All right, so. Lamar Jackson can go to the practice squad. Pinnock can go on the practice squad. So we still got to get rid of two cornerbacks and a free safety. So let's get free safeties real quick. Saquon Hampton, Bennett Jackson, LaMarcus Joyner. So Hampton will go on the practice squad. So we get rid of a couple more. We're going to have to get rid of... We got to get rid of five, six more players because we've got to get a kicker. we got to get a kicker. So... Um, we can release him. And that gets us, I think, down to the... No, we still got to get rid of another uh, another cornerback. We can put two more players on the um, practice squad, so I'll probably do that by age. So we'll get age here in a minute and do it. Uh, Austin, 25. He's a 72. We'll release him. All right, so let's look at age. Any of these players we want to put on the practice squad... Three tackles, Becton, Clark, and Idoga. Do we have any other tackles? No, we have three tackles, four tackles, because we got George Fant. So I think for the time being, we'll put Clark on the practice squad. We'll come down here to Fant. We will add him to the trade block. Uh, so we get one more player on the trade block, and we got to cut three more players. So where are we heavy still? Offensive line, defensive, the offensive line and defensive line. So if we look at our O line, um, I think. Dermot can get released. And if we look at the D-line, Hansel Smart can get released. And we got to get rid of one more because we're going to have to sign a... Um, 
Kyle Phillips, he can go away. We got to sign a kicker. So now if we go to free agency, there should be a bunch of people listed here that we can sign. I'm not going to go nuts. You can see we got Kevin Zeitler, a 91 overall guard. So let's clear the positions and just look at kickers. Oof, there are not any good kickers. Uh, kick, it's direction and accuracy. Yeah. Evan McPherson, we will sign him. He will be our kicker. And yeah, I mean, we could sign any one of these players and they'd likely be better than what we have. Maybe it makes sense, though, to sign a tight end because we don't really have a good tight end. Ooh, Hunter Henry. 26-year-old Patriot, former, well, I guess former Patriot. He didn't play a single game. 91 hands. Yeah, we're going to sign Hunter Henry. And then we'll go back to our depth. We'll go back to our roster. As you can see, you can sign, I could sign all of those players for 50 grand if I really wanted to. Um, but that just seems a little foolish to me. So, um, Wesco, we'll just put Wesco on the practice squad because we have enough. All right, so now if we go back to depth charts, we have our 53-man roster set. Wilson, Carter, Coleman, Adams will be our starting. F uh, let's, are there any fullbacks? Because I'd like to move Smith back to running back if I could. Just one, Jose O'Neill. All right, well, then we're fine with what we have. We just won't run with a fullback very often, that's all. In fact, we will probably put Perrine there as the as the up back. Davis, Moore, Crowder as our top three. Uh, our number one tight end will be Hunter Henry. Our number two tight end will be uh, Chris Herndon. Becton, Tucker, McGovern, Lewis, Moses as our offensive line. We go over to defense. Williams, Rankins, Lawson, Zuniga. Mosley, Dawkins, Cashman, Davis. Carter, Gidry, Joyner, Jackson with May and Davis as our safeties. That's fine. And then if we look at special teams, McPherson. Uh, yep, Tevin Coleman will be our kick returner and our punt returner. That is good. And I think it's time for our first game. So, guys, if I'm again, if I'm missing something, let me know. But we are going to, and it's just telling me that we have all these players being mentored. So I am. So we're going to save it real quick. And we are going to go and, and play this first game against, uh, who are we playing? I think we're playing Carolina. Carolina Panthers. All right, so here we go. We will play the game. And I'm not going to go to full screen because you lose the stats. It brings up the stats here on the side. So we're going to go with, uh, yeah, we're going to start. Okay, so we get the ball first. Into the end zone, so we can get the ball at the 25. All right, so I don't want to start out of a two tight end. I want to start pro set. What sort of running plays do we have pro set? We have off tackle and sweep left and right, which is fine because I want to be an outside team. So let's start with an off tackle right run. Nice run by Tevin Coleman for five. Oh, I got to set it on default so that it actually has the right running back out there. Uh, stay in the pro set. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's much better. Look at all those runs. All right. Absolutely. Uh, let's go with a draw. So Carter gets picks up a short gain, so it's third and four. We'll go shotgun. And what do we want to run in the shotgun? Let's run a quick slant. Let's see if we can pick up the first down here. Pass falls incomplete, and we have to punt. So attempted pass to Davis falls. Corey Davis falls incomplete. Not a good punt. 32 yards, no return. So they're coming out in a pro set. So we're going to run our 3-3-5. We're going to go default. Run 3-3-5. And we're on a cover, cover two. Long pass, complete to the tight end. Uh, nine yard gain, so they're coming out in the four wide now. I wish this would just stay on default. 
So if they're coming out in a four wide, we should probably go nickel. And we'll go to Tampa two. And a sack. There we go. Carl Lawson gets to Sam Darnold in the backfield. So they're coming out in the shotgun now. It's going to be four, third and 11. They want to play a quarter prevent. I'd rather go... I'd rather go with a dime. Dime press? No, not a dime press. Not a prevent either. Dime base. And we'll just play straight up man. On third and 11. Pass is incomplete. All right, there we go. So we hold... Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, special teams, punt return... And let's get the ball back. See if we can make something happen. Ooh, good punt by the Panthers. Decent return. We get the ball on the 20. So we're going to go back to default. We're going to come out in... Come out in the pro set again. That worked fairly well. And we will run a dive to the left. Try to attack that middle a little bit. Oh, they come out in a 5-2 and put us down. All right, so the I formation, yeah, we'll run a pitch. Run pitch left. He gets the corner and picks up a huge gain. So Michael Carter for 22 yards there on second and 10. Let's go back to default. I don't want to go with two tight ends because I don't like our two tight ends set. So we'll try a sweep the other direction this time. Another good run by Michael Carter. Picks up six. I formation. Let's see if we can fool him here with a play action. We have any play action out of the yeah, play action out of the um, uh, out of the pro set. Let's try this. Pass is incomplete to Carter. All right, so it's third and what? Third and four. <clears throat> so default. And we'll come out in a four wide receiver set. And we will see if we can run it out. There we go. Elijah Moore makes the catch. 22 yards from Wilson to Elijah Moore. Go back into the default, go back to pro set, and let's try off tackle left. He gets the corner and picks up six. So Tevin Coleman for six on that play. Default, pro set, and let's sweep it to the right this time. The running game's been working, so we'll keep leaning on it here. We're going to get the corner. Picks up a yard, so it's third and two. So we'll come out in a four wide, and we're going to run it. Come out in a four wide and run it. Uh, nope. That's not what I wanted to do. Four wide receiver set. There we go, the draw. That's what I wanted. And he picks up a yard. So it's third and one on the 21-yard line. Uh, yeah, we'll attempt a field goal. We've got a rookie kicker out there, but we will attempt the field goal. McPherson makes it, and we take a 3 nothing lead. Returned back out to the 35. So coming out in a two tight end, so we'll stick in our standard 3-3-5 three, three, here. And we will go with a short zone. Pass falls incomplete. So again, they run the three, three, or they're running a, a two tight end. So we'll come out in the, excuse me, three, three, five again. And we'll go, you know what? No, we're going to blitz here on second down out of the three, three, five. Let's see if we can get to Darnold. No, it's a handoff to, uh, McCaffrey, Darnold is injured on the play. 
McCaffrey picks up six. Darnold is injured. It's third and four now. And I think we'll go with the short zone again. They now have a, their backup quarterback out there. They hand it off to McCaffrey, and he picks up a huge gain on third and five. He's still going. Christian McCaffrey for 30 yards. All right, I wish, is there a way to key on? I wish there was a way to key on these players. So if we go back to default, uh, stick with the 3 3 5. We'll go man choke. So we got illegal formation. So first and 15 now. They're coming out in a shotgun. We'll go to the nickel and flats. Hopefully that takes McCaffrey out of the uh, out of the play. Pass to Moore is incomplete. So Darnold is back out there. Okay. So it's second and ten now. They're in the pro set. So that means we're going to drop back into the three three five. Um, I'm going to do a spy. I don't know if that's a spy on the quarterback or a spy on McCaffrey, but McCaffrey picks up a yard, so it's third and nine. So we'll go to default, and they're coming out with four wide receivers, so we will go to the dime, and we'll just play straight up man-to-man. -man. It's a handoff to McCaffrey, and he picks up 14 yards on third and, well, it was third and 14. I forgot they had a five-yard penalty. Two tight ends. Um, yeah, we'll call that play. It looks good. Pass is complete. And Tremble is inside the five. So first and goal here for Carolina. Uh, they bring out four. So they're going to spread us out and try to... Um, uh, try to uh, run it and try to run it, I would imagine. Yep, there's the handoff to McCaffrey. Unnecessary roughness by Rankins, automatic first down. So we're going to just switch here to um, 5 2. And we get to him again. There we go. Zuniga with the sack. So that's a huge sack right there. They had it first and goal on the two. It's a nine-yard loss. They're going to come out in a spread. So they're in a spread. What do I want to do here? I think we come out nickel and again, we'll do the flats. Try to defend those flats. It's a handoff to McCaffrey, and he is in for a touchdown. So we couldn't stop Christian McCaffrey there. It's a nice return by Coleman, or excuse me, by Gidry, out to the 34. So we're going to come out in the pro set. That's been fairly successful for us. And we will run a sweep left. Gets the corner up to the 40-45, and Carter picks up 11. Elijah Moore gets injured on the play. Back to the pro set. And let's go off tackle right. Gets the corner again. And LaMichael Perrine this time picks up seven. So second and three. We're going to stick with the pro set, and we're going to run it back to the left this time. Nothing doing that time as uh, Coleman is tackled behind the line of scrimmage. It's third and five now. We're going to go in the I formation. And I want to try to hit our tight end. I want to try to hit um, Hunter Henry. Pass is dropped by Coleman. That would have been a first down. So fourth and five. We have to punt. That's a shame. Hopefully we can pin them deep. Ah, it's a touchback. Crap. All right. Now we'll run the 3-3-5. Three, three, Hand off to McCaffrey. Picks up two. They want to stick in the 3-3-5. Three, three, I'm fine with that. Back to pass again. 
That one is dropped by more, so it's now third and seven. Um, let's get to him in a. Th let's see if we can. Let's see if we can get to him again. Oh, pass incomplete, Robbie Anderson. That one is dropped. I thought that was going to be a completed pass there for a second. Punt return. Couple couple yards on the return there, so it's our ball to start the second quarter. So let's come out in... Let's try something different this time. Let's come out in four wide receiver set. And... Let's try a screen. Nope. Down goes Wilson. Second and 21 now. Yeah, let's try a running play on second and 21. We pick up nothing, so it's now third and 21. Let's try a wide receiver streak. Let's see if we can hit somebody running downfield gonna get sacked again uh not a good series for the jets we're gonna punt that one away that's my fault i mean we had, had done such a nice job running the ball so far that uh uh i got i got a little cocky there so do we want to they're coming out in a pro set i don't need to double i want something really that's just gonna focus on um it's gonna focus on mccaffrey just you know just try to take him out of the play. Pass is incomplete. So they're coming out in an I formation. So we'll go back to the 3-3-5. Three, three, Let's try 3-3-5 three, three, base and cover two. Hand off McCaffrey with another huge run. Seven carries, 66 yards, and a touchdown for McCaffrey already. We cannot stop him. That pass is incomplete. We can stop the pass, though. Darnold's only two for eight. Uh, let's go to the three through five soft. Um, Hand off to McCaffrey. Picks up a short gain, so third and long. So they're in the spread come out in a dime base and again we'll just play straight up man and we get to McCaffrey right before he reaches the first down so it will be hopefully a real punt not a fake I don't know if you can fake in this honestly I've never actually never actually seen it all right so there's a touchback let's go pro set let's let's run what's worked for us pro set and let's do off tackle left. And get the corner. No, not really. Tackle by Perryman. Uh, default. Let's try the pro set again, but let's try wide receiver post. Pass is incomplete. <sighs> Wilson's one of five passing. So we're going to come out now in a four wide receiver set. Um, curl flat streak inside. Four. Yeah, we're on the slot corner. Hey, there we go. Pass is completed to Braxton Berry and he fumbles it, but is able to recover for a first down. So that works. All right. Back to default, back to pro set, and let's go off tackle right this time. Penalty on Jermaine Carter for five yards. Player result was three yards. Yes, we will accept. So we're going to get a three-yard run and a penalty. I wish they did this after the fact, though, because sometimes it can be a little confusing. We'll do default, pro set, and let's sweep right. Let's see if we can get the, get the edge here on first and five. We do, and Coleman picks up six, so there you go. 
default. That pro set's working for us. It is working for us. We're going to try the sweep left this time, come down to the other side, or pitch left, rather. Are we going to get the corner? We do. We get the corner, and that is a 10-yard gain for Tevin Coleman. Uh, stick with the pro set. And, yeah, I think we can do the sweep right. That's fine. Not gets the, we don't get the corner that time. Jermaine Carter tax tackles Michael Carter. We're going to come out in the pro set again. We're going to throw it this time. We are going to run a... What are we going to run? We are going to run a... Tight end in. Rolls out, throws passes, complete to Hunter Henry, touchdown. Zach Wilson to Hunter Henry, 29 yards, and the Jets take a 10-6 lead. Nice drive put on by the Jets there. Offense moving, running the ball really, really well in this game against this Panthers defense. So we go back to our 3 3 5. Oh, they're coming out in a shotgun. They don't say how many receivers they're coming out with. That's the problem. We should know how many receivers they have on the field. So we'll come out in a nickel. Actually, you know what? No, we're going to blitz. We're going to blitz out of the nickel. See if we can get to Darnold. Pass is complete, and that's going to be a long gain out to midfield by Robbie Anderson. 33 yards. So they're out in a pro set now, so we'll switch back to the 3-3-5. So the blitzing isn't working. We seem to be getting to him without running the blitzes, so maybe that's what we need to do here for the rest of the game. Darnold back to pass again. Now it's completed to McCaffrey for 11. So here comes Carolina. Try the 3-3 three, three wide and cover four clog. Picks up three. All right, so they're in the spread now. So we'll come out in... They're in the spread. We'll come out in the dime. And we'll run man-to-man. -man. Pass is complete. Into double coverage, he's able to make that catch. So shotgun. Uh, we'll come out in the nickel. And the cover one. Darnold throws and completes it to Cameron Irving. He picks up nines. So they're coming out in a shotgun again. So they're running out of the shotgun basically this entire drive. Let's go back to the short zone. My guess is they hand it off to McKenna. No, nope, it's another throw. All right. So Darnold is chucking it all over the field here. Third and one. So go back to default. Back to the 3-3-5. Three, three, We're going to run the same play with the short zone. Try to knock down those those short uh, short passes. And it's broken up by Gidry nicely. So we hold, and we are going to potentially limit them to a field goal here. Kick is up. And it's good. So we are tied at 10. The minute 38 left in the quarter. Turn is out to the 22. So I'm not going to take any chances. We have all three timeouts. Um, but I think we run our offense like we have been. And if we're able to pick up a first down here, you know, then maybe we can. Yeah, so two-yard gain there. I'm just going to let the clock run. Just going to let the clock run, and we will come back to the left, off tackle left. So it's third and inches now with a minute nine left. So default, pro set, and we'll run a draw. Offense on, offsides on Dante Jackson, but that's going to stop the clock. Okay, so now we can come out with a minute two left. And let's let's throw the ball. Pass is incomplete. Come on, the 
shotgun. And running back rub. Let's see if we can get the running back involved in the passing game here. Another incomplete pass. So this is not going well. Uh, so we'll come out in the four wide receiver set. And what do we got on here? Uh, quick slants, comebacks. Try the tight end deep out. Let's see if we can get the ball to... Oh, there's a completed pass to Braxton Berrios. So we'll call a timeout. So first and 10 now. 44 seconds left. So we go to the default. Come out in the shotgun. And what do we want to run here? We can run anything. Um, but we'll run the deep out. Run the deep out. See if we can hit Hunter Henry again. Pass complete, so second and two, 37 seconds now, so we will default four wide receivers, and we will run an out. Pass is complete, call a timeout. So 26 seconds left, we're down to the Carolina 31. No, I'm not calling a timeout, I'm not running a, uh, not kicking a field goal yet. I still got time. Let's try the streak. See if we can catch him over the top here. Pass is broken up. 19 seconds now. Okay. Shotgun, four wide receivers. Uh, the deep out seems to be working. Let's try that. Or at least the play call seems to be working. All right, so there's a seven-yard completion. We will call timeout, and now we will attempt the field goal. McPherson drills it. There we go. That's a uh, that's a drive. So Zach Wilson in his first game, 7 of 14, 112 yards, and a touchdown in the first half. There's five seconds left, so we'll just drop back into a quarter prevent. And let him run the ball. Oh, he's going to throw it. And the pass is incomplete. All right, so if we look at the box score at the half, Jets lead 13-10. to So McPherson with a field goal, Christian McCaffrey with an 11-yard run, Hunter Henry a 29-yard touchdown pass, Joey Sly with a field goal, and then McPherson with a 40-yard field goal with 11 seconds left. We have nine first downs to their seven. We're three of seven on third down. They're two of six. We have 194 total yards. They have a buck 68, 112 passing for us, 89 for them, 82 on the ground, 79 for them. We're averaging almost over four and a half yards a carry. Uh, Darnold is seven of 17 for 89 yards, no touchdowns. Wilson, seven of 14 for a buck 12 and a touchdown. Michael Carter, nine carries, 40 yards. Tevin Coleman, seven for 28. Perrine, two for 14. McCaffrey, nine for 77. McCaffrey also leads them in receptions. Davis, Berrios, each have two catches. Mims and Moore each have one. And Henry with the touchdown. Our return game has been pretty sharp so far. Defensively, uh, a lot of players with two tackles. Lawson and Zuniga with sacks. Lawson with a knockdown, Shepard with a knockdown, May with two passes defended, Carter with two passes defended, Gidry with a pass defended. Seven pancakes for Moses in the first half. All right, so good first half for the Jets. So let's get to half number two. All right, so let's see if we can stop McCaffrey. So we will come out in the 3-3-5 and we will run our short zone. Cut off those short passes. Potentially. Passes. Oh, he caught that one. Wow. Caught that one. They come out in the in a spread. So we can go to a nickel. That's fine. Tampa 2. Throw and pass is incomplete. Dropped by McCaffrey. That doesn't happen very often. 3-3-5. Three, three, Double one of their wide receivers here. Short pass to McCaffrey for five yards, so third and five now. They come out in a spread. 
Again, we're just going to run the 3 3 5, and we're going to do short zone. Force them to beat us down the field, and I don't think they can do that. Yep, broken up by LaMarcus Joyner. Very nice. I don't think offensively they're able to, uh, to, to, to beat us deep. So keep everything in front of us and force them to nickel and dime it. All right, so it's our ball, first and 10. Go back to old reliable here, the pro set, and we will go off tackle right, right out of the chute. Three-yard gain for Carter. We're going to stick with the pro set. And we're going to go sweep right, pitch right. As he get, picks up a yard, is not able to get the corner there. We're going to run it again on third down here, except we're going to come back the other direction with a sweep left. No, we're not going to get it. Yep. I could see based on where the linebackers were set up that that wasn't going to work. Maybe if we had gone to the right again, that could have worked, but not that time. All right, and we will kick this one away. And that's a 49-yard punt with no returns. They're coming out in the shotgun. So anytime they come out in a shotgun, I think it makes sense for us to just go with the short zone. And again, try to keep try to force them to beat us down the field. And they were able to that time. So DJ Moore for 36 yards. And they beat us over the top. That happens. That happens. We need to get to him. We got to him twice in, a, in in the first two possessions, and we haven't been able to get to him since. All right, so they're coming out now with four wide receivers. So that means we're going to come out in a dime press. Get right up on those receivers. Pass is incomplete to McCaffrey. So they're coming out in an I formation now. And I think we're going to come out in a, in a, in a nickel here. I think we come out in a nickel. And... Yeah. Let's see how this goes. Hand off to McCaffrey, and he picks up a huge gain. Ah, that's happened like three times in this on third and long, a McCaffrey run. All right. A short zone. Pass is dropped. So now they come out. They come out in an I formation. It wants me to run a quarter. It wants me to play in the quarter. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm not going to play in a 3 4. I want the 3 3 5. No, we're going to clog the middle because that's actually been causing us problems. Those McCaffrey runs right up the middle. There we go. Uh, so now they're coming out in a jumbo. But I'm not going to fall for it. I'm not going to fall for that. So we're going to go. Again, the 3-3-5. Not that one, though. Here, 3-3-5. Three, three, and... Was it this one? I want to run that play again, the cover four clog. Let's see what they get here. Throw into the end zone. Touchdown. Good return by Coleman. So first and 10 for us. We now trail by four. Let's come out in our pro set as we normally do. And let's run a wide receiver out on first down. And sacked again. Shaq Thompson this time. Let's run a sweep out of the shotgun. See if we can get some of that back. We get up two. So it's third and 14 now. That's not good. So we'll come out in a four wide receiver set. And we're going to chuck it. We are going to chuck it. Wide receiver streaks. The pass is complete but short of the first down. So it's fourth and five now. And we will be forced to punt. So Carolina's done a pretty good job on us here in the third quarter. 38-yard punt, a minus four-yard return. 
they're coming out in the spread again. I don't buy it. I just don't buy it. We need a turnover is what we need. That's going to be a big play for them. Nope, passing complete. I usually when the quarterback falls back into that mass like that, it turns into a, a big play. But I guess it's not every time. You know, I'm just making assumptions here. So they're in a jumbo. So we're going to come out in... We're going to come out in the 3-3-5 three, three, again. And we're just going to go cover two. McCaffrey picks up two. So it's third and eight. And we'll run a short zone. Oh, that's a long play. And there goes DJ Moore for a big gain. And guys, I will be right back. Quick pause. All right, we are back from our quick commercial break after that 39-yard pitch and catch from Darnold to Moore. And the Panthers have found something here in the second half, which is not good for us. Uh, they've been able to beat us over the top, which hasn't been good. So I'm going to try, let's try blitzing. See if we can cause some havoc. Nope, it's a handoff to McCaffrey, and he picks up nine. <laughs> okay. Uh, dime press. Gamble. Yeah, we're going we're to start to gamble here a little bit. And we're only down four, but... Pass is incomplete, so it's third and one now. McCaffrey's over 100 yards rushing. Out in the 5-2. Ah, another touchdown pass. Robbie Anderson, 28 yards, and we're down by 11. All right. Uh, we're going to stick with it here. I mean, you know, we aren't a high-powered offense, so we need to do what we do to try to get back into this. Um... That play goes for nothing. Pro set. So I wonder does, if the game, and I don't know this. Maybe you guys can tell me. I wonder if the game sort of, as we get a big run there, Coleman picks up 16. Does the game pick up on your patterns? Like, do they know that, you know, I like to run these sweeps and stuff out of the, out of the pro set? Or is it a, or is it, you know, does it not have any idea? You know, like, I, how does it work, I guess, is the question. So we will run a pitch right this time. No, let's run a counter. We haven't run a counter yet. Let's run a counter to the right. And that gets nothing. So back to default, back to pro set, and we're going to pitch it to the right this time. We don't get the corner, so it's third and long now. Uh, let's just go regular shotgun. It leaves the tight end in there. And let's run that tight end deep out and see if that works. We pick up a first down. No, we're going to get sacked. Ugh. Sixty-six yard punt, a sack now would be delicious. I don't suspect we're gonna get it. My guess is they're gonna start uh, hammering the ball down our throat here. That's what I would do if I were them. There's the handoff to McCaffrey. Well, yeah, we'll stay in a four-three. See if that changes anything. And another big pass. Ugh. just big play after big play after big play in the second half here for the Panthers. Pass falls incomplete. 14 of 31, 244 yards and two touchdowns for Darnold. McCaffrey's at 14 for 104. We're going to try to blitz. Mike Blitz. Let's get that linebacker up the middle. 
This is complete to Chuba Hubbard this time. And Carolina looks like they're going to run away and hide with this one as we can no longer stop them on defense. Uh, this second half has not been good to us. Either offensively or defensively, really. Another big play. DJ Moore, 24 more yards. <sighs> Yeah, it does like I said, I wonder if if the team if the game is able to sort of sort out, you know, the more I call the same play, are they more successful at it? You know, like I don't know. So then Davis stops McCaffrey. We'll just run whatever they want to run this time. I'm fine with that. Kirkwood is injured. Pass falls incomplete. Uh dime base. We will double. And we get to him. There we go. And, ah, oh, sack. Uh, but it was recovered by Darnold. So, uh, special teams, field goal defense. Is the field goal good? It's what, a 47-yarder? 49. No good. All right, so we're still in this. Still in this. But we need to get something going on, on offense here on this possession. Uh, wide receiver in. There we go. Pass is complete to Corey Davis for 15 yards and a first down. Let's come back out in the pro set. And let's run the out this time. We ran an in on the last play. Pass is incomplete. Yeah, we can come out in a shotgun this time. Uh, let's run a tight end screen. For some reason, they don't throw it to him, and Davis drops that ball, and it's third and ten. So one big play, and then... Well, not even a big play, but one play, and then back-to-back -back incomplete passes. Wide receiver out. Pass is caught, so I'm not attempting a 50-yard field goal from here. But we're on the 40. That's a 57-yard field goal. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing that. Uh, we will do this. Turnover on downs. Damn. Okay. I thought we were going to get him. And another huge play. Fumble recovered by that. Uh -huh. <sighs> Three yard gain. So they're coming out in a jumbo now. Hand off to McCaffrey. And he picks up another touchdown. So we are getting blown out here in the second half. And we aren't going to play... We aren't going to play every single game. I can tell you that right now. We'll probably play first game of the year, and then if there's an important game, we'll play that. So this for this first season, we probably aren't going to play that many games. Uh... Let's go with the I formation this time. We haven't done many I formation plays. And that's why. Because we can't run the ball now either. We ran the ball quite well in the first half, but here in the second half, not so much. Pass is complete. Fourth and five. And we're going to go for it because... We're losing by 18 with five minutes left. There we go. We pick up a first down. That's good. <clears throat> Just looking for some uh, some positives to take away from this. We'll square in here. We'll let Wilson drop back and chuck it around a bit towards the end of the game. Pass is complete. Down to the 30, and Jamison Crowder picks up 17 yards on that one. 
Let's come out in the I formation. What sorts of passing plays do we have out of the I? Fly. Yeah, we'll run a fly. Can we beat him over the top here? Nope. <laughs> a sack and a fumble. Double posts. Pass is complete for five yards, so it's third and 12 now. I'm going to come out in the four wide receiver set. And what do we want to do on fourth and 12? Um, slot corner? Sure. Pass is complete. It's fourth and six, so we get some of it back. We'll come out in the pro set again. And run the wide receiver out. I should have kicked a field goal. I don't know what I'm doing here. All right, pass is complete. All right. So Corey Davis picks up 14 and a first. So we're down to 248. That's why I didn't uh, kick a field goal, because we're down by 18 with three minutes left. Uh, tight end skinny post. Completed, and oh, Hunter Henry's down to the one. <sighs> All right. Um, there's the touchdown. Tevin Coleman goes in. From a yard out, we'll kick the extra point. And we will try the onside kick. Returned by McCaffrey. That's not a surprise. They're coming out in a four-wide receiver set. Why? Why are you coming out in a four-wide receiver set? Just run the ball. They're going to throw it. <laughs> I don't get this game. So Darnold's 18 of 37, 327 yards, two touchdowns. McCaffrey's at a buck 14 on the ground. Another catch, this one by Chuba Hubbard. I'm just going to call whatever they want me to call here. All right, let's get the field goal team out there. So we're down by 14 now. Kick is good. Can we get a kick return for a touchdown? 363 yards passing for Darnold in this one. Having himself quite a game. Quite a debut here for Sam Darnold against his former club. Pass is complete to Carter. So Wilson hasn't had a bad game. 17 to 27, 203. Uh, run some wide receiver posts. Passes dropped. Yeah, I mean, the, the running game really stalled in the second half, and that's kind of what one of the things that hurt that, and we couldn't stop them defensively. But our running game really struggled in the second half. So that one's dropped. And... Yeah, I mean, may as well go for it, right? Wide receiver in. Pass is complete. First down there. Let's call that last time out. The shotgun. Run a streak. Pass is incomplete. Trying to pad those stats a little bit, right? I mean, why not at this point? 
Pass is dropped by Corey Davis. He was wide open. Wide open. Defensive pass interference. We're going to decline the defensive pass interference. So we get a 14-yard gain. Kind of bumps those stats up a little bit. Let's call the last play of the game. Catch is made, and that will do it. So we drop the opening game of the year to Carolina by the score of 34-20. to Let's take a look at the box score. So that second half, we got outscored 24-7. to um, Offensively, Zach Wilson, 21-35, 239 yards and a touchdown in his debut. Darnold was 20-39, 363 and two touchdowns. Coleman, 14 for 46. Carter, 13 for 42. Again, the second half, things really slowed down. McCaffrey, 19 for a buck, 16 and two touchdowns. Corey Davis and Mims each had five receptions. Crowder had four. Berrios, three. Hunter Henry, two, including a touchdown. Carter and Moore each had a catch. DJ Moore, four for 70. Robbie Anderson, four for a buck, 34 and a touchdown. McPherson in his debut had a couple of field goals. Some good kick returns from Tevin Coleman. Uh, Tackles-wise, Mosley and Davis each had five. Davis had a tackle for a loss. We had two sacks. Quinn and Williams had four hurries. Lawson with a sack and two knockdowns. No turnovers. No turnovers. We got sacked a bunch. Reddick had two. Burns had one. Thompson had one. Carter had one. Um, only committed one penalty. They committed three. So all in all, I mean, it wasn't great. It wasn't great. But that's kind of what happens. We're not a very good team. So we will sim through the rest of the week. Take a look at our inbox. See if we got any trade offers. So mentoring update. Oh, Hunter Henry was mentoring Dalton Keene because Dalton Keene was on the Patriots. And now Hunter Henry is no longer on the team. Uh, Tevin Coleman got better. Connor McGovern, Johnson, Gidry, and Pinnock. Moore is doubtful for this week. Fatukasi questionable. Blair Holland Davis are probable uh, as we get ready to take on the New England Patriots. So we'll delete those messages and let's look at the standings through one week real quick and then we'll call it episode one. So in the America in the AFC, uh, the Dolphins won, Bills, Patriots, and Jets all lost. In the North, the Browns and the Steelers won. Ravens and Bengals are 0-1. Texans and Titans win. J Colts and Jaguars lose. Raiders and Broncos are 1-0. Chiefs and Chargers 0-1. Chiefs gave up 48 points to the Browns. Packers, Bears, Vikings 1-0. Lions 0-1. Bucks, Falcons, Panthers 1-0. Saints 0-1. Washington football team 1-0. Giants, Cowboys, Eagles 0-1. Niners and Seahawks 1-0. Cardinals 0-1. So that's it. That is episode one. Uh, let me know your thoughts, guys. Let me know if, you know, again, I don't know a lot about the game, so I'm kind of learning as I go here. So please let me know if there's stuff I missed, if there's stuff I should be looking at, if you have any tips or tricks or anything like that. Please, please, please drop them in the comments, and I will absolutely work them into what we do here. Uh, as always, uh, drop the guys over at GM Games a subscribe if you haven't already, like the video, and I will talk to everybody soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.